Argentine Tango Foot Care Made Easy. As you go into more and more dancing, as you progress in this world of tango, your feet will get to have problems, be it salsa, uh, swing music, tango. Whenever you're out there dancing, your feet are the ones that take the blunt of the effort. Foot care. Veteran tango dancers know that wearing the right shoe is essential for both enjoyment and safety while dancing. This holds true for both men and women. With women, though, the matter is even more important since many of the fo lead follower elements of the dance will depend on the woman's ability to make precise movements without losing balance. Always wear orthotic insoles in your shoes. Uh, they do add a lot of pleasure and help you stay on your feet for a much longer time. I recommend taking an ibuprofen or an ambroxan or an aspirin before the dance to keep down the swelling that happens as the uh, you spend two or three hours on your feet dancing. To help you check your toes and reduce friction and rubbing as you dance, apply petroleum jelly to the problem areas so that you don't your toes don't stick to each other or rub together, especially on the uh, outer side of your feet. Uh, when they're rubbing against the shoes. Use an overnight treatment. Petroleum jelly with coconut butter can be used as an effective overnight cosmetic treatment for dry, cracked feet and heels as it helps create a sealing barrier, locking in the essential moisture for your feet uh, need to repair themselves. And I'll tell you, it's amazing. One or two nights of using uh, this particular product, uh, petroleum jelly with coconut butter, it, it makes a dramatic difference in your in uh, your feet being dry, chipped, healing. Uh, it really is quite amazing. Foot doctors recommend that women avoid wearing heels that are higher than three inches. And I think three inches is, is sufficient. Try to put your weight on the center of your foot as you dance. Avoid the edges. Give yourself a quick foot massage with a tennis ball. You put a tennis ball under your foot, just roll it back and forth, and that massage will give you many, many uh, benefits. Use a toe stretcher. It stretches and realigns problem toes. Elevate your feet while resting when you get home. You know, you, you spend two, three hours dancing, four hours maybe. Get home, put your feet up. It's not that you're lazy, it's you're taking care of yourself. Avoiding trouble. Improving the circulation of blood to the feet can help prevent problems. Exposures to cold temperatures or water, pressure from shoes, long periods of sitting or smoking can reduce blood flow to the feet. Even sitting with your legs crossed or wearing tight elastic garters or socks can affect circulation. On the other hand, raising the feet, standing up and stretching, walking and other forms of exercise promote good circulation. Gentle massage and warm foot baths can also help increase circulation to the feet. Now, the operative word there was warm, not hot. So take care of your feet, and they will take care of you. You have to wear comfortable shoes. Wearing comfortable shoes that fit well can prevent many foot ailments. Foot width may increase with age. Always have your feet measured before buying shoes. The upper part of the shoes will be made of a soft, flexible material to match the shape of your foot. Shoes made of leather can reduce the possibility of skin irritations. Soles should provide solid footing and not be slippery. Thick soles lessen pressure while walking on hard surfaces. Low heel shoes are more comfortable, safer, and less damaging than high heel shoes. Now you know that the, the women in tango wear these beautiful high heel shoes. They don't have to be more than three inches. Corns and bunions. Corns and bunions are caused by the friction and pressure of bony areas rubbing against shoes. A podiatrist or physician can determine the cause of the condition and can suggest treatment, which may include getting better fitting shoes or special pads. Over-the-counter medications contain acids that destroy the issue but do not treat the cause. These medications sometimes reduce the need for surgery. Treating corns or calluses yourself may be harmful, especially if you have diabetes or poor circulation. Bunions develop when big toe joints are out of line and become swollen and tender.
Bunions may be caused by poor fitting shoes that press on a deformity or inherited weakness in the foot. If a bunion is not severe, wearing shoes can cut wide, wearing shoes cut wide at the instep and toes may provide relief. Protective pads can also cushion the painful area. Bunions can be treated by applying or injecting certain drugs, using whirlpool baths or sometimes having surgery. I don't recommend that surgery. My mother had it, and it was awful. So what do you do to prevent all these problems? Get in the habit of walking. And those of you that are really into tango, get out there and dance more often. Something I discovered when I got into tango that I didn't know I had was hammer toes. Hammer toe is caused by shortening the tendons that control toe movements. The toe knuckle is unusually enlarged during the toe back. Over time, the joint enlarges and stiffens as it rubs against the shoes. Your balance may be affected. Hammer toe is, tre is treated by wearing shoes and stockings with plenty of toe room. In advanced cases, surgery may be recommended. Use a toe stretchener. It straightens and realigns problem toes. And I tell you, it, it, it really works. I started using this, and, and though it looks like it's a, a stiff material, it's actually very elastic. And you stretch it across your toes, and you put it on for 10 or 15 minutes at a time, and it really does make a dramatic difference on the hammer toes. The Tango community. There's a finite community and inclusion in the Hudson Valley Tango population. There's always room for new members to come onto the Tango floor. Tango dances are taking place all over the Hudson Valley, the world, and tri-state area. So what are you waiting for? Call Dojo Dance Studio today. We don't get paid for this recommendation, but they're a very nice young couple that teach Tango. Their main studio is at 464 Main Street Beacon, 475-6006. Or you can go to their website, danjodancecompany.com. And also we recommend a not-for-profit tango organization called Tango Under the Tent, uh, which is in Sugarloaf, New York. And their website is tangounderthetent.com. Go over and see all they have to offer. Wonderful group of people. Our YouTube channel, TangoOnTheHudson.com, you type in one word, Tango on the Hudson, and you get to our, our YouTube page. And we have over 700 videos that we put together on, on uh, music, on dances, on orchestras, on singers, on performers, on tango music, and on a bunch of lessons so you can improve your dancing as you go along. So please subscribe, please share, please tell everybody you know that's interested in tango or wants to get into tango that this site is available. I'll see you on the next video. Happy feet. Bye-bye.